Hello and welcome to the Beauty Saga. I'm Parisa Saga and I am so glad you decided to join me for this video. In today's video, we are going to talk all things the new Revlon Colorstay eyeshadow primer. So if you want to see how this eyeshadow applies and just kind of hear my overall review of how it wears and the formula and all of that good stuff, then just please keep watching. It says, give your eyeshadow staying power with Colorstay technology for all day. Vibrant color and crease proof wear. Optometologist and dermatologist tested. It says easy ophthalmic application. Oof, using the big words on me, Revlon. Instructions, smooth small amount of primer over lids before applying eyeshadow for crease proof extended wear. I picked mine up in store at Walmart. I believe it retailed for $7.95, but I'm gonna put it right here when I double check my receipt. And you are getting 0.33 fluid ounces, which is 10 milliliters. It comes in a plastic squeeze tube, and then the applicator is just like so. Apparently that's ophthalmic application. I would have just said sanitary, because it's probably a little bit easier to understand. You can just get the amount of desired product out. You're not like dipping your finger in a jar or anything like that. So should stay nice and clean for your eye area. So how I like to use this product, what I like to do is take a pea size amount, split it between my two pointer fingers and apply one to each eye. As you can see, this has kind of like a nude, they call it universal color, which helps like minimize the look of any sort of veins or discoloration that might be on your eyes. So you can see the difference in the color correcting goodness that this primer has. But less is more with a uh, with eyeshadow primer, so no more than a pea size amount. You don't need any more than that for both eyes. Then once you've got it all worked in, just take any powder you have. I'm gonna use the Coty Airspun Loose Translucent Powder, but literally any powder, and then push the powder into the primer. and your eyes are primed and ready to go. It does not say in the directions to set the eyeshadow primer with powder. That is just how I like to do it and how I find eyeshadow primer wears best on my eyes. So that's a little beauty saga hack for making eye primer even better. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I love the Milani eyeshadow primer. This stuff is so good, but it is really actually very hard to find like some walmarts are the only place i've ever seen this in store it's kind of hard to get your hands on so when i saw that revlon had one out i was like oh man i hope this is good because it's gonna be even more accessible and the drugstore is like lacking on good eyeshadow primers the revlon reminds me a lot of the milani they're both tinted they go on your eyes get rid of the like any veins or like discoloration that you could possibly have. They set really nice with powder. I have hooded eyes. I cannot go a single day without wearing eyeshadow primer because my eyes become an oily, creasy, disgusting mess. I have put this through the test of wearing it for long days and it really, really does help keep your eyeshadow from creasing. And it also does help with the oil situation. I honestly did not notice it like intensifying the colors or making colors more vibrant beyond the fact that it kind of neutralizes any discoloration. So it gives you a nice base to start with, but just honestly, it doesn't like make shadows like, oh my gosh, it's revolutionizing my shadows. For me, the standout feature of this product is how much it reduces creasing, which if you have hooded eyes, you know you know how much creasing is a struggle. This primer really does extend the wear too. 
honestly even better than the Milani one I love so much. So yeah, Revlon Color Stay eyeshadow primer gets a, the fullest recommendation from me. I'm really impressed with this. The price of it is super good, half the price of my beloved Too Faced shadow insurance, and it's bomb. It works. It's great. It really helps with creasing. i super impressed. Super, super impressed. It does say on the ingredients that it has shea in it. I wouldn't get too worried that it's going to be too moisturizing. I have the craziest, oiliest eyelids in all the world and this eye primer held up against those. So if it can hold up against my greasy eyelid situation, you should be good. Not trying to brag that I have the greasiest eyelids in all the world, but you know. I have the greasiest eyelids in all the world, I don't know. Nobody got greasier eyelids than me, that's all I'm trying to say. So I really hope that you found the application demo and just my thoughts on this brand new primer helpful. If you have any other questions or comments, please leave those down below for me and I will definitely get back to you. You can also send me any questions you have on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, my Facebook page. I stalk my social media, so if you leave me a question or a comment, I will definitely get back to you. It's at The Beauty Saga for all social media. You can subscribe to my channel right here. There's going to be some other recent videos popping up right here that you can watch if you want to. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do hope you subscribe, and I hope I'm going to catch you on the next one. Bye! <laughs>